265.4 here is the uh, chrome bareth that's uh, coming across. And I'll be honest, this one wasn't, uh, didn't think was ready to, to be put in the sale. And he's, he's turned and burned the last uh, few days while we were away at Coalition. And, and uh, that is a top shelf uh, last dance. And the last dance sow um, is really going to uh, do her thing. And uh, uh, excited to get that one mated to, to make some white ones. Um, uh, probably three... Uh, Three quarter sips to this one coming uh, this summer out of a top shelf sun there at, uh, that, that kept raised but uh, uh, these things look like they're going to feed the arm the the feature there um, he's probably not one that's going to wow everybody when he when he comes in because he's not as bloomy and is and is ready to go he was the, weaned early and uh, a late decision to add but uh, love his his build and his presence and let you guys that are better than me with a feed bucket uh, decide you know just figure out how to get him ready that one's really neat and green and skinny, and I use all that in, in a positive term. I, I like that kind. I like to buy those kind because uh, they're easy to feed, and because they're so correct. And I mean, look at the look at the dimensions and the features he's got. Even though he is green, I mean that one's skull and length. The front's good. His angles are really good, and his skeleton, his bone is good. And you know, if you've ever seen that top shelf boar there at, at Platts and how stout and dense that is, I think this is a positive on this pedigree on on being this way and knowing what you're going to get with that pedigree. Um, I, I think a very, very nice pig that's going to be, and again, we'll use it a lot because we're seeing very genuine hogs here today, but that's a feeder's dream right there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, he's one that uh, may go under the radar on sale night because uh, some of these others are maybe a little quicker. But, uh, you know, I know when we're selling them uh, so many times, ones like this will uh, kind of, you know, creep up on you and you'll wonder, uh, you know, where they were on sale night, and, and this one reads to be that kind in terms of his uh, look from the side. He has that top shelf kind of presence, shaped to a skull and jawline. His length of body is right. He's got the right kind of fuzz on him in terms of just leg hair, and I, I'm not uh, going to just say that you absolutely have to have that, uh, but it's an added bonus when you study that one at the ground and at the surface. He looks like one to me, uh, you know, come uh, – July and August, uh, he's going to creep up on some guys and kind of be remembered. This would be 265-4 crossbred male.